The Boxing Channel is here in Brooklyn. We're counting down to a big Saturday night clash at the Barclays Center between two of the cockiest men in the sport, Adrian Broner, who says, who maintains that he's the heir apparent to Floyd Mayweather and Paul Malinaji, the veteran, who says he's going to take Broner into deep waters. Yeah, we're looking forward to some big trash talk, and let's see what the guys had to say here in Brooklyn. I really didn't come here to talk. To, to, to really talk trash. I mean, I mean we, did, we did enough of that. We did enough of that. You know what, what we two days out, it's really fight time for me. Um, I came up here today, it's about business. I wasn't even gonna come up here, honestly. I wasn't even gonna come up here and talk, but that would have been disrespectful to my fans. Even the ones who hate me, they're, they, they still my fans because they want to see, see me lose. So, so I came up here anyway. And all I want to say is um, I got to put on a hell of a show. I got, a hell of a, I got to put on a hell of a show. Like I said before, I'm not here to bash you, Polly. You, you're a great champion. You're, you're a great champion. You're a great champion. You're a great champion. You're a great champion. You're a great, you're a great Italian who wears hat to the side. No, I'm serious. You got, you got good talent. I want you to keep your day job because after this, you're not going to be relevant in boxing unless it's with a microphone. And I'm dead serious, and I'm being serious. I will leave, I will leave Saturday night a three-time world champion at the age of 23. I'm going to let Polly get up here and talk his little bullshit. Because at the end of the day, we really got to fight Saturday. We really got to fight Saturday. I'm going to knock him the fuck out. He's never, been, he's never been knocked out. I'm going to knock him the fuck out. You're a you clown. A job, the mic's off. You yeah, got a job. Stop clown. cussing, man. Clown. The mic's off now. Stop cussing, you, you man. Talk. You got a job. Clown. Clown. You got the mic's a job, off. man. Clown. Stop, stop Come talking. Come on, man. You're supposed to be a role model clown. on TV. Stop cussing. Ringling like Brothers is coming over next week. You can join them after this, all right? Stop talking. You're a clown. All right. Thank you. It's my time now. All right. Let's talk about the fight now. Um, yeah, it's gotten out of hand. It's gotten a little bit uh, crazy and stuff. Uh, we'll admit that. But at the end of the day, it seems like this guy is... This is how, they, this is how, they, this is how basically the creation of Adrian Brown happen, in my opinion, you know? Uh, they got everybody that's wrong with boxing together in one room, did everything that's wrong with boxing in that room, and gave birth to Adrian Broner. That's what's going on right now. He's gotta thank Al Heyman. Instead of praying to God every night, he prayed to Al Heyman every night for making him the creation he is. This guy is nothing. This guy is nothing. And on Saturday night, I'm gonna prove to you how, much, how nothing he is. Nothing but talent. We get to the late rounds. You remember in that locker room at Wildcard Gym a couple of years ago when you were getting ready to fight Ponte? And we was in the locker room, and you was all nervous about going the distance. You think I forgot that conversation you had with me? You think I forgot that conversation you had with me? Hey, Paulie, how you go with all them rounds, man? Because I've I, 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 I never been 10 rounds. You know, and, 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 you know, the fight is this Saturday. How, 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 you, how, you, how you go 10 rounds? And I had to explain to him how, how it is you go 10 rounds without mentally killing yourself. And then, and, and then shut up, shut up. I'm talking, shut up, shut up. You were doing a public workout at Wild Card. Shut up. So we're back. So he gets to the fight and he throws about 16 punches for 10 rounds. And thanks to him and he gets the decision. My man, you're going 12 Saturday. I'm going to beat your ass. Michael Woods here for the Boxing Channel at Barclays Center. We look over there and we see Pauli Malinaji leaving the building. He did a quick interview with Showtime and he left in a huff. He wasn't pleased with how it went. Exactly why, we don't know. Uh, there was some hubbub when an ex-girlfriend or someone he dated showed up. There's been a lot of soap operatics leading up to the fight with he and Adrian Broner doing some trash talking in that realm. Promoter Richard Schaefer didn't care for it, warned them both not to go there during the press conference. Broner did bring a woman, he says, dated Malinaji. Pauly addressed her during the fight. Promoter Schaefer said, please, let's just concentrate on the fight. So. Yeah, this went into a uh, different realm uh, that Malinaji apparently didn't care for. He was salty, he was angry, he did a quick couple questions with Steve Farhood, and then he left the building with no further comment. So we got some bad blood heading into the uh, showdown, which will take place at Barclays Center Saturday night on Unfold on Showtime. This is Mike Woods for the Boxing Channel.